so i tell you welcome back to the channel and you guys always throw questions at me i got one in particular for you now i threw this question in the community post asking as a truck driver what are some of the problems that you guys experience staying overnight at a truck stop now for me in particular i see the issue i don't see it as a problem but i do see it as an issue but it is a problem for most is parking <laughs> Definitely parking in certain areas. I know up in the Northeast, parking is a major issue. A couple of places down South, parking is a major issue. Parking in a mega truck stop, i.e. the Petros, the Pilots, the, the Flying J's, the Loves. Problems with Petros, TAs, and Flying J's is that there are more reserve parking then there is regular parking for the truck drivers. For regular parking, it probably might just be a select area and only a handful of those spaces that's already occupied by maybe the local drivers of that area. They'll come in, they'll park their truck, that truck will be there for an extended period of time, which that parking spot would not be available for any drivers that comes in that needs to either do a 34 or a or a 10 it's just not there because the driver that lives in that area is already occupying that spot some even get creative they come there they park their car in the spot while they're gone and then they'll come back get in their car and park their truck in the spot that's a lot of issues that drivers see when it comes to available parking at a truck stop Again, the other one will be reserve parking that there's a lot of reserve parking available, but not enough regular parking available. And let's say when it fills up, another issue drivers see when it comes to overnight parking at a truck stop is that on the app, they have accessibility to pay for their reserve spot before they get there. A lot of drivers used to do that when they put that in their pre-trip plan. They'd be like, okay, well, I'm shutting down at this particular pilot and I won't be there until 9, 10, 30 tonight. They pay for it. They think they reserve it, but by the time they get there, somebody else is in that spot. You get out your truck, you be the nice guy, you knock on their door, hey, buddy, can I get can I get my spot? What's, what's, what's up? They look at you like, oh, I can't move the truck because I'm on my 10 or whatever the case. And you stand there like, well, I, I paid for this spot. You didn't. How about how about this? How about you give me my money for the spot that you're in? How about that? A fair exchange. You go in there. You go into the store. You have the store employee to come out and say, sir, ma'am, going to need to vacate the spot because... It was already prepaid by this customer. And the truck driver is going to give pushback, as they always do. You want to turn around and say, hey, I, I, I can't move the truck. And some of them get in their feelings. They'll break out the camera and be like, well, I, I can't move. And in order for me to move, you're going to have to get DOT out here to have them to move me because it's federally, federally regulated. But you parked in a spot that you didn't pay for. And you knew that the spot was reserved, but you parked in it anyway. See, that's another that's that's another task chore that drivers face when they come to when it comes to parking overnight at a truck stop. So the biggest problem, which again for issues at the truck stop, would be parking. And a lot of times when you get to a truck stop, depending on what time it is, it's usually full. And when you try to make a parking spot out of a spot, that kind of hinders other drivers that's already parked there. So say like, for example, a driver is parked and he gets up at three, four o'clock in the morning. He's ready to go, but he can't move because somebody made a parking spot out of the out of the curb line that literally he needs to make the turn to get out. So now he got to take time to get out of the truck, knock on that driver's door. He got to wake that driver up and then let that driver know hey you're blocking me in i need to get out that driver gotta get up and now either move out the way or move back so again for issues that you see at a truck stop 
and again one of them being parking you may have a hell of a time finding legal parking spot anywhere though maybe at a rest area because a lot of you don't like parking at parking truck stops but the rest area same thing with that depending on where you at if you don't get a spot you might end up on the ramp if you're not on the ramp you're going to probably end up on the shoulder part of the highway just take a look at uh, chicago where all those trucks is lined up against the shoulder line going in and out of the rest area because the rest area only has so many parking spaces available and in some states now you're you can't even overnight at a at a rest area no more you you probably can only rest up for like two three hours before a worker and or state patrol come over there and tell you to move it's just unfortunate that if you have a delivery in the city you won't be able to find parking there either hopefully you'll be able to park on the receiver's parking lot but that sometimes don't work hey can i overnight here you gotta bounce bro and the closest truck stop in the area is about 60, 60 minutes to maybe an hour and a half outside of the city. Because the city truck stops is small as F. I know one truck stop in particular, especially in Columbus, that, that parking lot is a shit show. It's not even enough room for drivers to pull up to get fuel, let alone trying to park. You try to park at Walmart one time. Walmart allowed truck parking for for a hot minute but then truck drivers fuck that up they throwing stuff out their windows leaving trash on the ground and some of the walmarts that have like paved parking paved lots the weight of the trucks tear them up so walmart 86 that idea no more truck parking some got the little bars that goes across the entrance way so that trucks won't even go past there because of the bar how about try parking in the back of a superstore? How about try parking in the back of a mall? Nah, some malls won't even allow trucks to park on their parking lot either. And trying to pretend that you're one of the trucks that's there to deliver don't work either because if you if they have a security guard, that's just that. Another issue that drivers face while overnight at a parking lot or overnight at a truck stop, depending on the area, that you're going in now i know for a fact that lamar avenue in memphis tennessee is a dangerous area for many reasons one of which well a few of which includes robberies hijackings accidents and other troubles and again if you're on lamar the other troubles you should already know but if you don't know my suggestion is if you happen to, if you so happen to park in memphis tennessee for whatever reason i implore you to read whatever signs and look in the area make sure your head is on a swivel make sure your doors and the load is secure and don't answer the door for any reason and again before you park make sure that parking lot that you parking at is okay and what about that is that you gotta watch out for poachers that will come and boot you sh and then they'll they'll be like oh well it costs about four five hundred dollars to get it removed and if you don't get it removed we're gonna tow your shit and then it's gonna cost you an extra fifteen sixteen hundred to get it to come out of the pocket that's crazy and all you have to do is just search for a sign that says pay here or pay to park now a lot of us i understand we don't do that sometimes and we feel that we don't necessarily need to pay the part but memphis tennessee those truck stops is notorious for having poachers to come and do that crazy stuff to your truck i'm just saying so drivers those will probably be some of the problems that you would experience at a over experience overnight at a truck stop you guys stay safe out there you have a good sleep make sure you are aware of your surroundings at all times.